Welcome again to Cube Byte. In this video, you're going to learn walking animation. At the end of this video, if you follow my steps closely, your Roblox character will be walking like this. First let's get the Roblox rig. From the description down below, click this link, it will take you to the match free rig video. And then, click Metafire link from the description. Download the zip file and open the rig in Blender. After setting up your character and scene, open a split window from down here. Select Timeline, from the Editor Type menu. Open another split window, on the left. And go to Render Mode. This way you can control, and see your character from different directions, and angle. After that, select the armature near the head. And go to the pose mode, by pressing Ctrl plus tab. In the pose mode, move down all the points. This will allow us to move the character's feet, and hands. Next, enable the red button in animation timeline window. By turning it on, it will automatically make keyframe for us. Also, set the end frame to 80. Let's start making our walking animation, closely follow my steps. First of all, select the main armature, and go to the pose mode. We will be making 5 poses for one walk cycle. In the timeline, make sure that you are at the first frame. In the pose mode, select the foot armature, and move it forward and rotate it so the heel of the foot touched the ground. And also make sure, that the foot armature stays close to the foot, otherwise it will become the cause of foot slip. Next, select the other foot armature, and move the leg backwards, and rotate it, till the heel of the foot touched the ground. Then, move it upward till the leg slightly bent. After that, move the front arm backwards. In the opposite direction to the front leg. Similarly, move the rear arm forward. Congratulations! Your first pose is complete. Only, four more to go. Move the animation bar to 10th frame. Select the armature of front foot, and press Alt plus G, to reset the movement, and Alt plus R, to reset the rotation. Then, select the rear foot armature, and move it forward, close to the front leg by keeping it bent. Select the front hand armature and press Alt plus G to reset its position. Do the same thing, to the rear arm, reset its position. Alright! Second pose is also complete. Only three more to go. Move the animation bar to 20th frame. Select the front leg armature. Move it backwards, and rotate it, till heel of the foot touched the ground. And move it up a little, to bid it. Then, Select the rear foot armature, and move it forward, and rotate it, till the heel of the foot touched the ground. Again, make sure, that the foot armature stays close to the foot, otherwise it will become the cause of foot slip.
Select the front hand armature, move it forward. Then, move the rear arm backwards. Well done! Third pose is also ready. Only two more poses to go. Move the animation bar to 30th frame. Select the front leg armature, and move it forward, by keeping it bent. Then, select the rear leg armature, and press Alt plus G, then Alt plus R, to remove rotation, and movement. Select the front hand armature, and press Alt plus G, to remove the movement. Similar, select the rear hand armature. Press Alt plus G, to reset the position. Good work! Fourth pose is also complete. Now you don't have to do anything. Just select the first keyframe in the timeline and duplicate it by pressing Shift plus D. And move it and place it at 40th frame. That's it! Walk cycle is complete! In order to extend the walk cycle, select all keyframes. And duplicate them, and place them as such that first keyframe of the second walk cycle override or replace the last keyframe of first walk cycle. Hit the space bar, to see the animation. Cool! Now! Only thing left to do, is to make our character cover some distance. Select the main bone of the armature, the big circle one, at the bottom of the character. Make the keyframe at the first frame, by moving the main bone very slightly. Then, move the animation bar to the last frame, and move your character to the desirable distance. Now. If you will play the animation, you'll encounter the foot slips. Let's fix these foot slips. Again, select the main bone of the armature. Then, open a graph editor in the bottom window. Hide all the animation in the graph editor, except the Y location. Press A, to select all the keyframes, and press right click, go to interpolation mode, and select linear. Then, in the scene, press shift plus A, and add an entity called single arrow. This single arrow will act as our reference point. Move the single arrow very close to the front foot, where its heel touched the ground. Again, select the main bone of the armature, and move animation bar to 10th frame. By keeping the animation bar at the frame 10. Move the last keyframe downwards, in the graph editor, till the leg touches a single arrow. Look, leg is now touching the single arrow. Okay, that's it, let's play the animation again. As you can see, foot slips are fixed. That is how you can make your Roblox character walk in Blender. That's it for now guys. In the future video, I will also make, tutorials about the running cycle. So, stay tuned with our channel by subscribing and, bye, see you soon.